Hi Facebook, this is Kendra Clinkscales here. I'm just going to read what I wrote earlier because I know some people don't like to take the time to read. <laughs> or some people just don't have time. They may be on a lunch break, so I'll read it and you don't have to read it. I'm going to tell you what I said. Just a moment. Let me find it. Okay. Uh, on Facebook today, which is today's date, I'm January, February, March, April 28th, I said, good morning, everyone. <laughs> I am watching TV, and they are discussing LGBT, which stands for Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, Transgender Issues. I do feel for hermaphrodites who are confused about who they are to be because they are born with conflicting genitalia, hormones, and chromosomes. I am praying for them. I am, oh gosh, I don't have on my glasses. <laughs> uh, I am praying for them. I was appalled to see the treatment against people who have a sexual orientation that is opposite of heterosexuality. However, although I am not in favor of the LGBT agenda, I do believe that those who commit hateful acts against anyone who are in, are in danger of a fierce punishment from God Almighty. God is love, and when you don't exhibit this love you are not doing God's work nor do you have his Holy Spirit working in you nor is it in you nor is he in you the Holy Spirit showing God's love doesn't mean you have to vote for cross-dressing to be allowed in college and things of the like but the love of God wouldn't cause you to be physically nor verbally abusive to anyone. Now, this is love. I want to warn people who commit acts that are against God's laws, whether it is homosexuality, adultery, fornication, hateful acts of any kind, stealing, molestation, pedophilia, and a host of other sins. If you continue to commit these acts without repenting, which repenting means to turn away from it. Repenting is not just saying I'm sorry. It's a godly sorrow, but it's also trying to change. Some people are mm, have addictions. Some people have, um, They're bound to certain things and they need to be freed and delivered from certain things. But if you're not at least trying, I mean giving it your best try, and if you're not turning away from those things, that's what repenting is. You will be wiped off of the face of the earth at the end of the age by God himself and face eternal damnation. People think, oh, I have time. They're always saying, um, oh, Jesus is coming soon. He's coming soon. He's been coming for 200 years, blah, 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 1,000 years, blah, blah, blah. But no man knows the hour. And he is um, long-suffering towards us. He gives us lots of time to change because he's not willing that any man perish. Now, that I just added that in. Let me go back to the article that I wrote. He did this in the days of Noah with water when he wiped man from the face of the earth because of the evil on the earth. Oh, they were doing everything, every imaginable sin. It was terrible. Sodom and Gomorrah, oh, that's uh, uh, stuff like that. They, God wiped man from the face of the earth with water. But he's coming back with fire. Oh gosh, it's going to be a horrible day. But it's not going to be horrible for those of us who have accepted him, who believe him, and who are being as obedient as we can and following his law. 
His law means, law, that word law is instruction, really. God gave us instructions on how to live. Okay, let me finish up. Uh, the people in the day of Noah, okay, whatever. All the evil on the earth, the people in the days of Noah with water because of the evil on the earth. Uh, they were committing every sin imaginable. But God's next judgment will be with fire. I said that. Okay. Then I posted Second Peter, the book of Second Peter. And um, just to give you proof, I don't like to say things and don't have to show it. I need. To, I couldn't find the exact scripture I was looking for in re the book of Revelations, where God said his judgment was coming at the end of the earth. But lastly, you better be right with God before you leave this earth. Once you leave this earth, your spirit leaves your body, you're going to go to another spirit world. There's like some people say there's nothing after death, there's just nothing. Yes, there is. You will have a conscience, conscious mind. And there are scriptures to back that up. That's another post. But um, yeah. You have time right now because you haven't left this earth. So get it right with God. And that's my little talk about, oh gosh, this thing. My computer's acting up. I'm done. I am done. Okay. But God bless you all. I love you all. I love my Facebook friends and family. Mwah. All right. Bye. I got cheese and stuff on my fingers. <laughs> I was thorn down. All right, now if I can just stop this thing. Okay. I